Hello! Now you may not know, but there were several different ways of shooting a pistol, and in World War II they brought out loads of these pamphlets you see, many of which were cut down from earlier versions that had all sorts of unnecessary stuff like uh, how to aim a pistol and fire whilst riding past on horseback, for example. Uh, they just wanted an ordinary tank crewman or officer to be able to drill Fritz quickly, and uh, so they taught him three different ways of doing it, but the principal emphasis was put on the, uh, well, maybe I shouldn't jump the gun, because at the invitation of Bloke on the Range here, see a link to his channel in the description, um, he invited me to a, a, a secret, well not actually completely secret, and not at all secret, a range in Switzerland uh, where I could try a complete novice of the three different styles of shooting. Uh, the instinctive centerline thing, the cocking and aiming, and then they're just letting him have it uh, double action blazing away. And um, well, here's how I got on after about whew, I don't know, what was it, 30 seconds of tuition, something like that. You're a fast learner. Okay. Feel confident? No, but let's do it anyway. Okay. Open it okay. up. So, finger off trigger, push lever, which unlocks here, which then allows the whole thing to fall forwards like that. Then I pick up. Six rounds. Two, three, four, five, six. And then I put a thumb to stop the cylinder spinning. And I start from there, go anti clockwise in case Fritz surprises me. Okay. Okay. And then close. And I'll tell you how many rounds. Okay. Right. So. Get your grip, the ready position. Right, one round. Right, that was high. Look at where your muzzle is. One. Whoa, good shot. Two. Oh, not so good. There you go. Okay, unload. Let's go have a look. Okay, the barrel is actually not very hot. It's not even warm, actually. Okay, just put the pistol on the floor. Right, so you told me that the top one, the first one went high, I yep. couldn't actually see that. Uh, and then I think that one's my next one, wasn't it? Yep. Uh, and then I adjusted a bit and then I got a group of four. Um, yep. Which, uh, judging by the pattern of yours, I'm going to say is, was adequate. Indeed. Hooray, adequacy. Yes. Do you want to have another go? Yeah. Okay. Patch out. Okay. Mmm, beige. And so as a baseline, if you were to practice this for a while, I think you could get quite good. Um, I, the thing is, knowing where your first round goes is probably the single most important thing. Yeah. This doesn't seem to be in alignment, so I'm moving it until I feel a positive click, and that seems right. You don't right. need to. It'll align itself. It'll align itself with it. Okay. Okay, so square to the body, and two rounds. Now look here. Okay. Another two. And another two. There we go. Right, unload and show clear. Okay. There we go. Uh, right, well, I was determined that my first round didn't go high, uh, so I uh, perhaps overcompensated a bit, and then I brought up, and after that, I didn't make much adjustment. Um, I think uh, those were my last three. So the last two, um, obviously, I was starting to get the hang of it. Yeah. Yeah. For comparison, let us do another six using the sights. Wittishins load. Okay. Okay, so if I click this, it'll sort itself out and I don't need yeah. to steady it. Okay, so, so we'll this do time. Double action still. Double aim action at the still. middle of the top target. Middle of the top target. Are you ready? Yep. Okay, unload and show clip. Okay, let's go have a look. Uh, I didn't adjust, I, I kept aiming in the same place. I didn't sort of um, yeah. adjust for uh, where I saw the, the shots going. And from this distance, I could very clearly see where they were going. And uh, well, you can see that it's a, it's a much smaller group. Um, uh, not a tiny group, but um, a much smaller group. Uh, if I'd known where the chap's heart was, I could have put them all in his heart. Perhaps I shouldn't have said that. Anyway, it's better. 
Right, so now we're going to try again. Same pistol, same distance, but this time single action. So, uh, the gun still isn't even warm. Oops, oh no. Ooh. Oh dear. If, I'd be, if Fritz had been quicker there, he'd, he could have got me. Okay, so, this time I cock it first. Oops, one outlier. That was six, wasn't it? Drop the hammer. Okay, so to drop the hammer, I put loads of pressure on it, release it, then let the trigger out, which then stops it slightly short. So it's, the pin is not going to be resting on the back of any uh, um, of the bullets. Okay. And, and, and I think I counted correctly. Yeah. But safety first. Okay. Uh, well, my last one was rubbish, but the, the first five, as you can see, are much, much, much tighter. Uh, and that one was that one was human error. Uh, that was just I just I just mucked up the last one. Um, so that was roughly the group before, and now the groups. Ah. So um, single action is so much more accurate because you don't have to strain against the power of the spring to bring the hammer back. And as you pull uh, against that spring, it's extremely difficult to hold the gun steady. And then when suddenly click, that moment comes, it's more of a shock. Whereas if I do all that in advance by cocking it, uh, I've pulled back against the power of the spring and then I've got a much lighter trigger. I can take careful aim and just a simple click. And so there's much less shake of the gun and, so, and hence much greater accuracy. Right, uh, now what do I do? Magazine in. Okay. All right, there's a little button there for holding okay. it in. All right. Keeping the finger away from the trigger. Good, good. Right, pull back on the slide. Let it go. Now you've got eight rounds. Okay. Okay, take the mag finger off the trigger. Thing, finger, finger, finger. Right, magazine off. Okay, clear. show clear. So we look inside. Yes, it's clear. Put it down on the ground. Okay, let's go have a look. Right, well, something I can say straight away is that's got a hair trigger. At least two of those rounds went off before I'd really intended them to. Uh, however, in terms of grouping, it's actually not quite as good as the uh, single action grouping uh, with the revolver but not much worse. But you did it much faster. Uh, yes, although that the increased speed wasn't entirely deliberate. <laughs> As I say, some of those rounds, um, that has got a hair trigger. I, that, I think that uh, was quite heavy. It's not. <laughs> compared, it's not. To, compared to that revolver, it's not. But uh... um, OK, well, maybe it's, maybe it's heavy for a, an automatic pistol. I don't know. But at least two of those rounds uh, left the weapon when I hadn't intended. Uh, fortunately, I was aiming in roughly the right place, so we're all fine. But um, yes, I, I was doing my usual thing of uh, pulling through the, the, the first bit until I feel uh, the mechanism bite, and then expecting to do a control thing, but I've pulled through to feel the mechanism bite and it went off, whoa, uh, at least twice um, before I intended to. But um, happy enough with the grouping, they're all in this, this coffin shape. What, this is a coffin shape. But why is this a coffin shape? Uh, because they didn't like uh, the targets having heads on them. Okay, so they they made it coffin shaped, and so I don't know if you can see the little little folds in this, but that's that's clearly da, 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 shape. Uh, anyway, so um, they're all in that. They're all in the coffin. Hooray! So Lloyd proved to be a very very fast learner and actually quite an instinctive shooter. Oh. Now, uh, what were your impressions on the three different drills and the automatic pistol? Um. Well. My feeling is that whilst this centerline thing sort of worked, um, it doesn't really take very long to go from there to there. And mm -hmm. the improvement in accuracy that I experienced from there to there was pretty flipping enormous. And if I've got six rounds, I could always just fire the first one there and then bring it up mm -hmm. uh, and you perhaps put more rounds on the target later on. So uh, I didn't really see the necessity of staying down here. 
uh, unless perhaps Fritz was immediately in front of me. Mm. But if he's even even as far away as that target was, which was only about five or six yards, I'd, I'd let him have it looking through the sights. Well, why not? So does it surprise you that no one teaches this kind of shooting, that kind of shooting anymore? What, this kind? Yeah. Um, not greatly. I mean, uh, it's, it's very much a military uh, thing. If you were a policeman, um, I, I think you would, the, the, the law would demand you to make sure that your bullets went where you pointed them. Mm. And uh, so greater accuracy is, is better for policing, I would, I would have thought. And uh, in the army, you've got a, if you've got a, uh, an automatic, you've got perhaps 11, as many as 13 rounds, perhaps. And, you, you, know, and you, can, you, can, you can bring it up to here and, and fire more accurately. So, mm. so no, I, I don't think, uh, not that I'm ever likely to use one of these pistols in anger ever, but I don't think I'm going to be uh, uh, moving around like a Dalek and aiming my entire body. I think I'm, I'm going to you know, stare down the sights. I think there's something a little bit more, um, I don't know, sort of intimidating, authoritarian as well. I mean, if I'm like this, I'm like them sort of gangster mm -hmm. from a, a cowboy movie. Whereas if I say, now look, put that down, take that out of here. Are you chewing? Spit it out. Did you bring enough for everyone? Go away and don't do it again. It's you're far more sort of authoritarian to, to, to point at someone and, and you know, maybe they listen to you a little bit more readily. Whereas this, this just um, is, is sort of brutal and not quite so serious looking, I think. Yeah, I, I want to stare down the sights at a guy and, and intimidate him. And of course, if I'm just trying to shoot him and I'm pointing my gun with the intention of, of uh, shooting him, I want to make sure that the bullet goes where I want it to. So mm. whether it's I'm trying to intimidate or kill, I'd still rather look mm. down the sides. So I find it quite interesting that um, in the sort of well, World War II plus minus period, uh, a lot of police training in the US was not using the sights. It was believed that you couldn't use the sights quickly. And there's some uh, interesting YouTube reproductions of, mm -hmm. not reproductions, uh, uh, republications of, of mm -hmm. FBI training oh, right. where they're, they're, they're all shooting down here like that. It wasn't, it wasn't just us dastardly Brits. Uh, following Fairburn and Sykes' advice. Fairburn, Fairburn Sykes, Mr. Stabby from Shanghai. You, we know him on my channel from, from all his knife fighting stuff, but he did guns and that as well. Fighting dirty, that was his general thing. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, yeah, so if I draw it to there, bang, bang. And by the time I bang, bang and bang, bang, take about the same amount of time. Mm. So why not bang, bang is that as well, I think. Yeah. For much greater effect on target. Yeah. Um, well, you saw from the the, the little the, the little holes I put in the cardboard. Uh, yeah, yeah, groupings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there you go.